Indira Goswami, the 14th of November 1942 to the 29th of November 2011, known by her pen name Mamoni Razam Goswami and popularly as Mamoni Bidio, was an Assamese editor, poet, professor, scholar and writer. She was the winner of the Sahitya Akademi Award 1983, the Jnanpith Award 2001 and Principal Prince Claus Laureate 2008. A celebrated writer of contemporary Indian literature, many of her works have been translated into English from her native Assamese which include the moth-eaten howdah of the Tusker, pages stained with blood and the man from Chinnamasta. She was also well known for her attempts to structure social change, both through her writings and through her role as mediator between the armed militant group United Liberation Front of ASOM and the Government of India. Her involvement led to the formation of the People's Consultative Group, a peace committee. She referred to herself as an observer of the peace process rather than as a mediator or initiator. Her work has been performed on stage and in film. The film Adagia Adaya is based on her novel won international awards. Words from the Mist is a film made on her life directed by Janu Barua. <laughs> Early life and education Indira Goswami was born in Guwahati to Umakanta Goswami and Ambika Devi, a family that was deeply associated with Satra life of the Ikasarana Dharma. She studied at Latashal Primary School, Guwahati, Pine Mount School, Shillong, and Tarini Chaudhary Girls School, Guwahati and completed intermediate arts from Handik Girls College, Guwahati. She majored in Assamese literature at Cotton College in Guwahati and secured a master's degree from Gati University in the same field of study. Indira Goswami impressed by Akka Mahadevi's Kannada Vachanas as she said in Bengaluru. Topic: <laughs> Career. In 1962, she published her first collection of short stories, Chinaki Moram. When she was a student, popularly known as Mamoni Baidio in Assam, she was encouraged by editor Kurdi Nath Hazarika who published her first short stories—when she was still in class 8 13 years old—in the literary journal he edited. <laughs> depression Goswami has suffered from depression since her childhood. In the opening pages of her autobiography, The Unfinished Autobiography, she mentions her inclination to jump into Crinoline Falls located near their house in Shillong. Repeated suicide attempts marred her youth. After the sudden death of her husband, Madhavan Razam Iyengar from Karnataka, in a car accident in the Kashmir region of India, after only 18 months of marriage, she became addicted to heavy doses of sleeping tablets. Once brought back to Assam, she joined the Sonic School, Golpara as a teacher. At this point she went back to writing. She claims that she wrote just to live and that otherwise it would not have been possible for her to go on living. Her experiences in Kashmir and Madhya Pradesh, Indian states where her husband had worked as an engineer, were used in her novels Ahiran and The Chenab's Current, respectively. <laughs> Life in Vrindavan After working at the Sonic School in Golpara, Assam, she was persuaded by her teacher Apendra Chandra Lakaru to come to Vrindavan, Uttar Pradesh, and pursue research for peace of mind. Her experiences as a widow as well as a researcher finds expression in her novel The Blue Necked Braha 1976, which is about the plight of the Radhaswamis of Vrindavan who lived in abject poverty and sexual exploitation in everyday life. One of the main issues that the novel touches upon is the plight of young widows for whom companionship beyond the confines of their ashrams and fellow widows become impossible. Their urge to live, as well as the moral dilemma that they face vis a vis the order of precepts of religion in this regard, are brought out with astonishing clarity and feeling in the novel. The novel exposed the uglier face of Vrindavan, the city of Krishna, and Hindu deity, inviting criticism of Goswami from conservative sections of the society. It remains a classic in modern Indian literature. It is autobiographical in character as she says the anguish of the main character Saudamini, reflects what she had gone through after her husband had died. It was also the first novel to be written on this subject. The novel was based on Goswami's research on the place as well as real-life experience of living in the place for several years before she joined the University of Delhi as a lecturer. 
In Vrindavan she was involved in Ramayana studies. A massive volume of Tulsidas's Ramayana purchased during her stay there for just 11 rupees was a great source of inspiration in her research. This finds expression in her book Ramayana from Ganga to Brahmaputra, an unparalleled comparative study of Tulsidas's Ramayana and the 14th century Assamese Ramayana written by Madhava Kandali. Topic life at the University of Delhi Goswami relocated to Delhi, India, to become Professor of Assamese in the Modern Indian Languages and Literary Studies department at the University of Delhi under the guidance of her lifelong mentor Professor. Babananda Dekka, who was subservient in the introduction of Assamese language in Mill Department of Delhi University do. While at the university, she wrote most of her greatest works. Several short stories, including Ridoy, Nangoth Sohor, Borafor Rani, used Delhi as the background. During later part of her life, after she became head of the Mill Department in Delhi University, she, in collaboration with award-winning Assamese popular short story writer and novelist Arnab Jan Dekka made efforts and persuaded Delhi University to set up a chair in the name of middle-age Assamese saint philosopher literature artist Srimanta Sankardev. They also convinced the chief minister of Assam to make a contribution of rupees 1 million to Delhi University to create the corpus for the proposed chair. However, Dr. Goswami could not see the fruits of her effort during her lifetime. Her two classics, Pages Stained with Blood and the Moth Eaten Howdah of a Tusker, were also written during this period. The other books completed while she lived in Delhi were Ahiran, The Rusted Sword, Uday Banu, Dasharathi's Steps, and The Man from Chinnamasta. In Pages Stained with Blood, she writes about the plight of Sikhs in the 1984 anti Sikh riots following the assassination of Indira Gandhi, the Prime Minister of India. Goswami had witnessed the riots while staying in the Shakti Nagar area of Delhi. She visited many of the other sites to complete this novel. She even went to GB Road, Delhi's red light district, to depict the lives of the prostitutes who lived there which forms a part of her novel. In The Moth-Eaten Howdah of a Tusker she writes about the plight of Assamese Brahmin widows in Satra, religious institutions of Assam. This novel was anthologized in the masterpieces of Indian literature and was made into a film, Adagya, which won several national and international film festival awards. The novel was also made into two television miniseries. Nandita Das played the role of Giribala in one of the miniseries. At the peak of her literary career she wrote the controversial novel The Man from Chinnamasta, a critique of the thousand years old tradition of animal sacrifice in the famous Hindu Shakti temple to Kamakya, a mother goddess, in Assam. Goswami reported that there was even threat to her life after writing the novel. In this novel she quotes scriptures to authenticate the argument she puts forward in the novel, to worship the mother goddess with flowers rather than blood. She said in an interview, when the novel was serialized in a popular magazine, I was threatened with dire consequences. Shortly after this, a local newspaper, Satan, carried an appeal about animal sacrifice, which resulted in quite an uproar. The editor was Garoed and a tantric warned me. But when the appeal was published, the response was overwhelmingly in favor of banning animal sacrifice. I also had to contend with rejection from a publisher who was initially keen and had promised me a huge advance, but who later backtracked, offering instead to publish any other book of mine. But the rest, as they say, is history and Chinnamastar Minuto went on to become a runaway bestseller. Another major piece of her fiction during the period was Jatra, The Journey, based on the problem of militancy, secessionism that has affected almost the entire northeast India frontier ever since Indian independence. Mamoni Razam Goswami died at the Gati Medical College Hospital on 29 November 2011. Success She received the Sahitya Akademi Award She received the Jnanpith Award India's highest literary award, for writing about the subalterns and marginalised. Two of the main features in Goswami's writing has been the focus on women and the cultural and political construct of the Assamese society. However, it is also to her credit that she also created possibly one of the finest male characters in contemporary Assamese literature, viz., the character of Indranath in Daedal Hantir Un Koa Howdah the moth-eaten Howdah of a Tusker. Her contribution in the Assamese feminist literature is self-evident in this work. She takes up the issue of patriarchy existing within Assamese Brahmin families with an illustration taken from a small place in Assam known as Amranga, Borihat. 
This work is also encrusted with a post-colonial tinge in it as we see the mimicry of the colonizers among the colonized. It is also to her credit that she made extensive use of the relation between different variants of the modern Assamese language as both signifiers of the politics of social and cultural differences among the various Assamese communities. But the overall emphasis remained on the unity of the Assamese identity. This may be taken as her way of dealing with the nature of contemporary politics in Assam marked by ethnic confrontation. Besides the larger politics of the militant secessionism, she also contributed a major sum of the Clause Laureate 2008 to a public health center of Amranga, Borihat in Assam. This contribution is not merely material in its nature but a dream since her childhood, come true. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic Novels Topic Autobiography An Unfinished Autobiography Assamese Adha Lika Dastabeha Biographies New Pages Assamese Dastabahara Natuna Topic Short Stories Beasts Dwarka and his gun Parasu's well The journey Sanskrit To break a begging bowl Udang Bakak Relive Topic <inaudible> Poetry Pain and flesh Pakistan Ode to Ahor Topic Nonfiction Ramayana from Ganga to Brahmaputra, Delhi, 1996. Research work on Satakanda Ramayana. Topic Online works. The Journey, short story. Topic Awards. equals equals see also